Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome. Uh, I'm Rich Mazaki. I'm with Boston Capital Development. Uh, we are developing uh, this site into a project known as uh, 733 Broadway. I'd like to welcome everyone to this exciting affordable housing event, including the announcement of DHCD's funding awards. <laughs> we, are, we are thrilled to have Governor Healy and many elected officials here and truly appreciate the governor's ambitious initiatives surrounding affordable housing. We're here today on this site, which is the current uh, home of the Merrimack Valley Food Bank. This has been their home for over 30 years. The Food Bank is an, ama an amazing organization serving over 75,000 people every month. Given their success and growth, it was time for them to move to a new location, and they've, they've found another facility in Lowell and have decided to uh, relocate. That opens the door for affordable housing here. We're redeveloping the site to provide 52 new units of affordable housing in an attractive four-story building. Although most of the building behind me will be demolished, we'll save two of the historic facades and restore, uh, restore those to uh, their original condition. We're working in partnership with the House of Hope here in Lowell to provide three permanent supportive housing units for formerly homeless families as well. The transition of this property from the food bank to an affordable housing community is fitting, with both serving vulnerable households in this area. We're grateful to DHCD and the City of Lowell for their support and funding of this important project for the city. The City of Lowell clearly understands the, the importance of creating affordable housing, and we truly value their partnership throughout the development process over the past two years. With that, I'd like to introduce the City Manager of Lowell, Tom Golden. Thank you all very much for being here. Uh, another exciting day here in the City of Lowell, uh, but that wouldn't be happening without a lot of thank yous, a lot of hard work, uh, and uh, capacity crowd, Governor, as always, uh, and Lieutenant Governor, thank you so much for being here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's, one more time, the Governor and Lieutenant Governor of Commonwealth of Massachusetts. To the Undersecretary, I of course say thank you, and to DACD, we say thank you very much for all of your hard work and the dedication to making this happen. I don't think anybody can, um, can express how much we need when it comes to affordable housing. I mean, I know for a fact, when I'm looking at, uh, you know, Councillor Yem, who is here today with me today, ladies and gentlemen, right here, he talks to me about this all the time. <laughs> Councillor, thank you very much. And of course, Councillor Noon that's joining us here. Thank you very much, Councillor. Our state representatives, Representative Roddy Mom, Representative Rodney Elliott, and Representative Vanna Howard. Thank you, folks. We've had these discussions about how important it is in our gateway cities. And as usual, DHCD has answered the call. And as usual, our partners are answering the call. And to our new governor and to our lieutenant governor, thank you so much for continuing that call because it is so, so needed. And I'd like to say that the city of Lowell is going to continue to invest in projects like this. The $250,000 that we've put in for home funds is a small amount of money compared to what this is going to cost at the end of the day. But the city of Lowell, the mayor, and the entire city council stands committed to stand with this administration to ensure that everyone has an opportunity to have a home, uh, excuse me, to have a roof over their head. We know how important that is when you're talking about economic development, when you're talking about just day in and day out, how can you work within your life if you don't know where you're going to be living? And to my partners and the nonprofit that I see so many of you here that have done such a fabulous job here in the city of Lowell, I am confident, very confident in the choice that this administration has made. I would call him senator, I'd call him city manager, 
but now I have to call Mr. Secretary. <laughs> Mr. Secretary, Ed Augustus, thank you very much for making this trip up to Lowell. I know it's not your first time. I know it's not going to be your last time. And it truly, on behalf of the mayor, the, the city council, I want to say thank you, Governor, Lieutenant Governor, for picking an administration that is going to put housing first for all of our residents. Thank you all very much. At this time, it is my privilege, my privilege, the first time that I've had a chance to do this, and it has been a number of months. But talk about somebody who has hit the ground running, somebody that has been doing a fabulous job as our Attorney General, somebody who has been doing a fabulous job over the past five months as our Governor, and will do a phenomenal job with this administration over the next three plus years. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our Governor. Governor Mara Healy. Oh, well, um, thank you so much, Tom. It's, uh, it is great to be here in Lowell, uh, and it's great to thank you. <laughs> Go UTEC. Um, yes, 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 NCTI. I know today we're here on housing. You're right, right. So, look, I... Um, I just want to acknowledge a, a few folks at the outset. Of course, our city manager, uh, Tom Golden, um, really look forward to the, to the partnership and the work we can do together as our teams work together on so many fronts. I am uh, grateful to see our colleagues in the legislature here. Thank you so much for your partnership, not only on housing, but on so many pressing issues facing our residents. Uh, we also have mayors. Um, some of the LG's old pals. We have Mayor, Mayor Fuller from, from Newton and, and Rep. Di Natale. Thank you from Fitchburg. Uh, really, really appreciate you being here. And, um, you know, I want to thank Rich and everybody at the Boston Capital team for, for their investment. I also know the mayor uh, was not able to make it today, but we are always grateful to be, to have the opportunity to be in Lowell, which has such a rich history. Um, and it's reflected in this room as we see, you know, I look out and I see so many friends, activists, organizers, supporters. Some of you have gone on to get elected. Uh, we, see, we see Julie Chen, your fabulous new chancellor. I had the privilege of being at her installation a few weeks ago. And, you know, just the synergies that are happening here in Lowell with the university, with neighborhoods, with communities. And it's happening throughout throughout the Commonwealth, and we want to grow those thriving opportunities for vibrant communities all across this state. But fundamental, fundamental we know to all of this is housing. Indeed, as uh, Tommy said, having a roof over your, your head. And we know that for too many, it's too out of reach right now around our state. And it's something that the LG and I are very, very focused on addressing. And you know, uh, among other things that I like about this project is we know that this also links our housing goals with some of our climate goals, the way that, um, that these projects are designed incorporating green and sustainable features is really, really important, and certainly this project is reflective of that. Um, I want to, at this time, though, bring to the podium Jennifer Maddox. Jennifer Maddox is no stranger. <laughs> Jennifer Maddox is no stranger to affordable housing, and we are lucky to have such a dedicated team in our, uh, in our government who day in and day out, working with people like Kate Racer and so many across the team um, in communities around the state, trying to put the pieces together, trying to put the dollars together to make these projects go. We know that uh, the urgency of the times absolutely demand it, and I want to thank um, Undersecretary Maddox for her leadership over many years in this effort, for her continued effort, which, you know, we think is so important that we've made even greater investments in our proposed budget, guys, <laughs> okay, <laughs> for, for housing. And uh, I want to invite um, Undersecretary Maddox to the podium to uh, – talk about our awardees and about this program in particular. Thank you. 
Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Governor Healy, for understanding how fundamental housing is for our families and our neighborhoods to thrive. DHCD is ready to step into an elevated role of the Executive Office of Housing and Livable Communities, and we are looking, right? Yes, yes, yes. And we are looking forward to working with our new Secretary, Ed Augustus, next month. There is so, so much more we need to do to address our housing needs, and this award round is the largest announcement that we will make this year. And I'd like to take the time now to introduce all of today's winning projects. So please hold your applause at the end, because it's 27 of them. <laughs> all right. 84 Warren Street, Roxbury, Madison Park Development Corporation. 2085 Washington Street, Roxbury, Trinity Financial and Madison Park Development Corporation, Columbia Crossing, Dorchester, Dorchester Bay Economic Development Corporation and Preservation of Affordable Housing, Columbia Uppins, Dorchester, the Affordable Housing Services Collaborative, Inc., Old Colony, Bay 6, South Boston, Be Beacon Communities and Boston Housing Authority, Parcel R1, Chinatown, Asian Community Development Corporation, Talbot Cal Commons 2, Dorchester, Codman Square Neighborhood Development, Watson Place, Braintree Arch Communities, Clifton Place, Phase 1 Cambridge, Cambridge Housing Authority, Singing Bridge Residences, Chicopee, Breeza Development, Greenmont Senior Residences, Drake Common Ground Development Corporation, Machesset Commons, Edgartown, Affirmative Investments in Island Housing Trust. 470, Main Street, Fitchburg, Newview Communities, Brushwood Farm, Lenox, Penrose, 733 Broadway, Lowell, Boston Capital. All <laughs> right, all right. Green, Greenstein Grove, Ludlow, Wayfinders, West Newton Armory, Newton, Civico Development and Metro West Community Development, 23 Laurel Street, Northampton, Valley Community Development Corporation, 107 Main Street, Orleans, Housing Assistance Corporation, First Street Apartments, Pittsfield, Berkshire Housing Development Corporation, 3 Jerome Smith Road, Providence Town, the Community Builders. Lee Ford Terrace, Salem, Beacon Communities, and the Salem Housing Authority. Henry T. Wing School Residences, Sandwich, Stratford Capital Group, and Choice Housing Opportunities. Westminster Senior Residences, Westminster Commonwealth Community Developers, Streeter and Poland, Wichington, Massachusetts, Veterans Outreach, Curtis Apartments, Worcester, Trinity Financial and Worcester Housing Authority. And finally, Worcester Boys Club, Worcester Wind Development. All right, let's go! All right, come on! All right, all right, everybody. Woo! All right, all right. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. Congratulations to all of today's awardees, and we look forward to celebrating with you at future milestone events. Now I want to turn the mic over to Lieutenant Governor Driscoll, who has been critical to our work with expanding our family shelter system, which many of you know is strained with increased demand. Now I can't leave without saying how much I want to thank my team at DHCD, which works incredibly hard to get this funding out the door so quickly so that we can get shovels in the ground right here in Lowell and across Massachusetts. Thank you. What a great day. I mean, the sun is shining, the birds are chirping. I don't know if you can hear it over here, but it's always a great day when you can announce housing support for 1,500, over 1,500 
new units in the Commonwealth. Think about that from, you heard all the locations, you know, from the East Coast to the regional uh, regions of Central Mass, Western Mass, down at the Cape, like 1,500 families are gonna have a place, you know, to live that is a lot more affordable than the housing we have often in communities that we know are so important and critical to the growth of what we want to do in this Commonwealth. So I'm thrilled to, to be here on a day that I said earlier to, uh, to Tom Golden, like, today is a good day. <laughs> today is a good day. You know, these projects and these grant dollars, we know it is not easy. I want to say to our, our housing development community, like, we know how hard it is to stack all the necessary resources to make these projects come together. Looking at the list, some of these have been years in the making between the dollars and the permitting all lining up. So just want to say thank you. We know how important these projects are and how important these grant dollars are to support making a difference in our communities in terms of tackling this housing crisis. It's a daunting task. Like we're 200,000 housing units short right now and people are living longer and community need is growing. And it's really, we believe, the governor and I, essential for our state's future that we have more housing and certainly more housing affordable in the communities that people need to live in and the people that we are relying on every single day. Anyone who hands you anything over a counter, people who are pouring coffee or pouring beer for a living, the folks you leave your kids with uh, when you go to school or who's helping care for an older adult, they need to live in our communities too. And for too, off, for too many people in too many places, that's becoming harder and harder every day. That's where we're committed to this work, having a cabinet level secretariat dedicated to increasing housing production, to reducing the barriers to growing housing, and to accelerating that pace is so, so critical as we think about not just the next four years, but frankly, the long-term economic prosperity of this Commonwealth is really going to be determined by our ability to create spaces for people to live, to have a choice to want to live in the communities that we know are so important to the growth and success of the Commonwealth. And that's why I'm really proud to be here today to introduce you to the individual who's going to be leading our work as our new housing secretary, Ed Augustus, some former local colleague, as a city manager in Worcester, Ed's had a strong track record of creating thousands of housing units in, in Worcester, both uh, units for our most vulnerable populations. He knows how crucial the of our communities is and how much that is tied to housing. He left Worcester much better than he found it with a decade's worth of experience of aligning goals and bringing people together. The private sector, the public sector, nonprofits, all geared towards ensuring that we're not only meeting housing goals, but we're, we're building community. More than just units, we're going to support neighborhoods and support growth and revitalizations of places that really matter. And one of the things that we're excited about, about bringing Ed on board is his motto of how do we get to yes? This is an approach we need to take when it comes to, you know, building more, partnering with cities, knowing what local level, let's so that those of us who have been local leaders how do we as a state come in with the re and the technical to support those efforts? It's got the right experience, vision, and drive to really lead this effort with an outstanding team, and Maddox and Kate Racer, and so many others who aren't here. So I'm really proud to be here today and introduce you for his first public Ed Augustus. Hopefully it's not all downhill from here, Governor. Uh, thank you for that generous uh, introduction. I really appreciate uh, yours and Governor Healy's uh, support and faith in asking me to take on this task. Uh, it's exciting to have two committed leaders to this issue uh, of bringing to Massachusetts. And lots of folks here today and over the last few days have asked me, you know, What's driving your work? And, and it's really two words, more, faster. Uh, that's what it's about. We need to do everything we can to get more of these projects underway. Even the couple of projects I heard uh, being funded here today in Worcester have been multiple years in the process. Uh, so we need to speed up time uh, because there are real people uh, who need those housing opportunities. There are people decisions now, where they're going to live, locate their business, where they're going to get business based on the ability to have their employees, their workers find a healthy uh, place to live. And so that has to be our urgent task. And that has been the, the charge I've received from the governor. And I have to say, I am so fortunate to get the chance to work with a rock star like Jennifer Maddox. Yeah. 
I am excited about that. The team at, at DHCD uh, is really first class. You've all worked with them. You know uh, their capabilities. You know their talents. Uh, and I'm looking forward to adding my uh, energy and my effort and my experience uh, to really take things to the next level. So again, I want to thank the governor, lieutenant governor, for the opportunity and the honor uh, to work on this important uh, priority. Thank you very much. All right. Well, that concludes things. I think the uh, lieutenant governor said it best. This is a great day and a great day for affordable housing. Thank you, everyone. You can still hear me. Can you still hear me? We're going to have a photo first of just um, our speakers, and then other photos with additional awardees can take place after that.